It is November the 15th, 2018, and we are in the Cravo Demonstration and Training Center in Irapuato, Mexico. And you can see above me is a retractable white cooling roof that is being used to help protect the plants both in the winter from the cold temperatures and in the summer from the high radiation and low humidity. So this house here is being used exclusively for berries. And we are doing comparisons of the variety Biloxi, both in the retractable roof and in the conventional tunnel. And I'm going to show you now an actual side-by-side -side comparison. So this plant on the right was grown in the conventional tunnel. It is the variety Biloxi and it was transplanted May 29th with 8,333 plants per hectare. And the plant on the left came from the retractable roof. Again, the same variety, same planting date, same density. And when you compare the structure between the two plants, you can see in the, in the tunnel there's not a lot of new shoot development. There's some flower development and no formed fruits. And here in the retractable roof, where we are actually optimizing the climate by managing the light, the temperature, the humidity, the transpiration and water stress, we are influencing the development so we have more growth, more flowers, more shoots, and you can see the stems are very thick. So now I'm going to show you the blackberries. To give you an idea, last night it was plus three degrees Celsius and when we see the pot temperature in the sun, we can see we're reaching 38 degrees Celsius on the sun side and on the non-sun side we're at 15.9. So the ability to let the sun shine on the container is really helping to keep the roots warm during these cold November times. This is the variety Akatsali from Giddings and you can see there's the first flower development and over here we have the raspberries which are also from Giddings, it's the variety Evita. And so last night there was a lot of condensation on the roof because of the extreme cold temperatures but you can see that the leaves are very dry and there's no foliar disease. So this ability to provide climate optimization is helping to give us a very fast rate of growth but also helping to prevent the rust, botrytis, powdery mildew that is typical on these types of plants. So this is the trial that's being done at the high elevation so that we have comparisons to the plant development at our Culiacan facility at sea level. So if you happen to be in Mexico and you'd like to come and visit these trial sites, just give us a call or email us and we'd be happy to make arrangements.